Hey, how's it going? My name is Alex and welcome to Remixed Reviews. Today I'm actually going to be talking about BotCon 2015, which just wrapped up here in Chicago a few days ago. Um, I didn't really know what to expect. I was super excited. When I first heard that they were coming, I think I uh, ended up taking some vacation time. I wanted a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday without any interruptions. You know, I wanted to be off. I was assuming it was going to be like a Wizard World or like a um, C2E2 when it came to ticket prices. I was wrong. Um, they did individual days only for Saturday and Sunday. They were 25 bucks, which isn't bad. But if you wanted to get out and uh, get in there an hour early, which was actually uh, from 9 to 10 a.m. on both days, they were actually charging 60 bucks, which I thought <clears throat> that was a little high for me. As far as package deals, uh, they had certain deals for people who were registered members of uh, the Transformers uh, Bot Count Club, and uh, in honesty. It's really, it's it's not enough of a difference for their packages. They actually had the packages which actually started on Wednesday. Uh, they had like Transformer custom painting classes. Uh, I think they had a tour around the city of Chicago, stuff like that. Uh, the only thing with their packages, they, they range from anywhere from 195 all the way to almost 500 bucks, depending on which package you had. I think they had a total different of five different ones to choose from. Um, it's cool. I mean, you get the BotCon's exclusive. Uh, certain packages offered you the shirts and, and, you know, a badge with your name on it, all that stuff. But, you know, for me, I'm a collector. Look at the wall behind me. I want to buy shit. I want to get in. I want to get out, unfortunately. Yeah, I love the artistry. I love hanging around, talking to people. Uh, but, though, I mean, a couple hundred bucks just to get in. Even with what they give you, even with the BotCon exclusives, I understand that. But at the same time... For me, it wasn't worth it. You know, I'm looking for a more masterpiece, um, stuff uh, harder to find generation one pieces. So for me, I would say I'm a pretty diehard collector, especially when it came to Transformers, but the deals just weren't there for me. They didn't have a weekend package or, you know, a Friday package, which is, I was kind of bummed at, especially for Friday. I had the day off, but I don't think they were doing general admission. They might've changed it at the end. Um, I thought I saw some people rumbling about Facebook that they did, but, you know, as far as I could tell, they didn't have it online out there the way they did the Saturday and Sunday general admission starting at 10. So, that was a deal. For, that was a big deal for me. You know, <clears throat> the $25 just to walk in wasn't bad. I thought the early entrance fee, bumping it all the way to 60 just for one hour. If it was a two hour or maybe three or if it was even, shit, even like 40 bucks, you know. But 60, that was way too much to get in for an hour early. Is it worth it? Maybe. Um, but this year, my funds were kind of low. I was in the process of, you know, trying to buy a house. I still am. So, you know, I had some money saved up, so I at least was going to go on Sunday. I didn't feel like I wanted to pay 50 bucks to go Saturday and Sunday. Actually, I couldn't even make it on Saturday. So, um, I went Sunday, and overall, I got to say, I really enjoyed the experience as far as vendors go. A lot of different vendors from, you know, as far as Canada uh, were there. A lot of different um, collections, you know, it wasn't all just one. Um, I mean, it was mostly Transformer. Here and there you saw some Marvel Legends, some He-Man and Voltron, but primarily 90% all Transformers, which what you expect from a BotCon. But, um, you know, the prices weren't bad. They were all over the place. Some good, some bad. I was there on Sunday. I was there mid-Sunday, so the prices were probably starting to drop. I was able to pick up some Combiner Wars, some stuff to kind of area bots for 15. I mean, at a con, 15 out the door, not bad, especially when some Toys R Us, especially around Chicago, had them. They started bumping those up to uh, 20 bucks. So <clears throat> that was good. Overall, it was okay. I didn't mind those prices. Um, they did have a disclaimer: a big no third-party uh, Transformers would be sold there. And I was on Facebook trying to find out. You know, is that true? Because I did want to dip, uh, you know, I was looking for a Polyon, the third party Megatron for Brawny, um, stuff like that. And behold, I walk in and that's, there's this big, uh, I forgot their name of it off the top of my head. Every other booth had um, third party, um, whether it was like out in front or just off to the side. Nothing really hidden, nothing really like anyone was doing anything wrong. Uh, I believe those disclaimers probably prevented a lot of other major people selling huge amounts of third party because it wasn't overwhelmed with third party stuff. But you could find things here and there from like fans, toys, fans project, and relatively about the same price as online. So 
I thought that was I thought that was cool. You know, I was happy about that because you know I was kind of worried about that. I was like, mm. now when it comes to the size, you know, it was an average size hall. Uh, they had enough to work with. Um, it was close to Chicago. It was only about maybe a 45 minute drive from the heart of downtown, which is by where I stay. So I was happy. Overall, I think the Bacchan was a success. I heard they're coming back uh, next year. I hope that is true. Um, I don't really know too much about the history of Bacchans the way I do like conventions like Wizard World and C2E2 and, you know, other conventions that travel. But, you know, I'm hoping they come back, you know, because I really enjoyed it. I wish they had a package deal a little cheaper, or, you know, but it is what it is. I could do the 25. I'm sure I missed out on a lot of stuff, though. Because that thing technically was on till Wednesday. So those people who bought those package deals probably had money left over to buy a lot of the good stuff too. So that's kind of interesting. I might try to maybe not go Sunday, but definitely Saturday. I'm not sure if I'll do the early admission unless next year's, uh, by next year, there's a lot of things I, I need or want. But overall, I would recommend it, especially for the $25. Uh, if you're a diehard uh, toy collector, Transformers fan, you like the convention scene, that's a good one, especially when it came to toys. It's definitely one that you gotta see. I don't think people should miss it. Um, you know, it's kind of cool. They had very little cosplay, at least on Sunday. I'm not sure about the other days, but the ones that were there were different. It wasn't your average Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman. This was actually, you know, people who you could talk to time to make costumes, and they look really well. So overall, I say it's a must go. You definitely have to go, especially if you've never been to one. Um, it's a good place to. Well, a lot of times online, I see things, especially third-party stuff or Takara stuff. It's a good place to window shop for later future purchases because you don't. It looks different up front. That Apollyon looked great. He looked even better to me up front. Um, other things didn't, you know. So it's a good thing. It's kind of like when someone has a huge collection of hot toys. Not normally you get to see all of them. Sometimes you think you, it looks good, and then, you know you get it, you buy it. It's like damn, I spent a lot of money on something that was okay. So that's a good thing too. You get to see a lot of shit you don't normally see, especially like unless it's on, on the internet. So that's a big plus too. I was able to get some deals. Uh, it wasn't too bad. I was able to pick up Brawny, uh, this uh, Bad Cube version of Braun, I believe. Uh, shit, I even forgot his name. Anyways, I wanted this. I was able to get this from for 90 bucks out the door. I think it was a good price. A lot of times they try to do the double package that comes with the other figure. Can't wait to open this. I was really happy about that. Like I said, I also picked up some, um, you know, uh, con uh, stunt the cons in area, but some of the ones you see at other targets, I was able to pick up um, a Pollyan, which I was happy about. Let me grab them. Uh, I haven't even opened them yet. Uh, the box was used. He was open just for display. I want to take. I want to thank uh, Toy Dojo for hooking me up with this guy. I got him for one fifty, I believe, out the door. So that was good. Um, especially since they raised up the price and I didn't have to pay for shipping. Now, mind you, the box is a little scuffled, a little damaged, but the figure was flawless. Uh, it was only on display. He never transformed it. It came complete. And since uh, I, I don't see any of my other Masterpiece boxes, I wasn't too worried about this one. And I'm um, hoping Takara still makes a damn Megatron that we love because I just come to the conclusion where I'm going to get me two shelves, one without Takara, told me official, and then another one with the ones I like from various third-party companies it's just the way to go <laughs> um other than that that's pretty much it i'm not gonna make this long it's just uh for some of the people out there who are on the fence of whether they should go to bacon or not i would definitely suggest i'm pretty sure it's coming next year to chicago if you have the chance to go um try to save up for that because pockets your pockets do go <laughs> will go deep uh, this you need deep pockets excuse me uh you do really need deep pockets to go because I would have, if I had more money, I would have stayed. The fact is, I had these couple things I really wanted. I was looking around, there's more things I wanted to pick up, and I'm just like, life gets in the way for all of us, unfortunately. For this particular one, it got in the way a lot, but you know, that's fine. It'll come back again. If not, one day I'll find it again. You know, patience is the key for any collector. Uh, so, you know, I gotta recommend it. Hope you guys, uh, if you haven't been to a kind, I hope you guys definitely de decide to go because it's worth it, especially if you're a fan of toys and Transformers. You got to go at least once. So um, I recommend it. I hope you like uh, this review real quick. I didn't really have much to show you, just a little bit. Just I hope I gave you some information on Bacon itself. 
when it came to what to expect a little bit more. Leave your likes and comments at the bottom, and for everything Remix Reviews, please visit us at www.comicsremix.com, and we'll see you next time. Peace. I cannot stay here too long before my machine friends will become nervous and do something rash.